Hi guys. Hi guys. <laughs> Y'all seen these TikToks? I'm bored in quarantine. I just got two ponytails in the mail. I want to take a cool Instagram picture. Let's give myself a makeover. We are all in a very bored state of mind right now, so now's the perfect time to try out something new. My heart went. Oops. I'm not gonna explain what I'm doing because that's boring. I have so many TikToks just constantly looping my brain. Ooh. How does a low be the niche? Milk. So this is condensed and powderized milk. That was fire. My sense of humor is very sarcastic, if you guys couldn't tell. And I've been, you know, posting on TikTok, many of which of the posts I post are sarcastic. I saw this girl pop up on my For You page and she was like, use this if you have a weird name. So I thought it would be funny if I did one of those, but I used my name, Taylor, because it's not weird at all. It's the most American white name ever. Well, actually, I don't know if it's white. I'm sure there's other races that have the name Taylor, but like, I know a lot of white Taylors, you know. Use this sound if you have a weird name. How is it pronounced? How do people usually pronounce it? Do you get mad when people pronounce it wrong? What's the funniest way someone's ever pronounced it? What is the origin of your name? Now would you ever give your kid a weird name? Someone was like, wait, Taylor's not a weird name. And I commented, it's a joke, smiley face, like being nice. And then she was like, didn't really seem like it, but cool, okay. That's the world for you. Not everyone has the same humor. That's for sure. And then someone else said, I can't tell if she's being sarcastic or not. So basically half the world that sees my TikToks thinks I'm a complete idiot. Mm, that's okay. But gosh. Speaking of people commenting on stuff, I've gotten so many comments. Well, I've gotten like three comments of people telling me I wear too much blush. Rude. Now that my videos are finally doing better, finally, thank you. Thank you guys for all of your support. I've been getting a lot more randoms on my videos that are mean and annoying. Even if your content is like literally not hateful in any way and always positive and nice, you're gonna get people that want to spread negativity. I have a problem because I get so angry when I see ridiculous comments. Like I get mad and need to not let it affect me. Like I don't get like hurt. I don't get sad. I get like pissed. I can't help myself sometimes. I just want to fight. I just want to physically fight them. <laughs> so if you guys have any advice on how to deal with like annoying people, I could use it. Why do YouTubers always do their eyebrows off camera? What's the reason? My boyfriend, Andrew, he found this old video on his phone of him just destroying me in tetherball. And he decides to make a TikTok with it. He's made like three other TikToks. Basically, he just says he's not a simp. That's it. That's the TikTok. And it has one million views. I'm not even kidding. One million. I was like super proud that I got 20,000 on one mine. But this guy, he just hops in, says the word simp, destroys me in tetherball, and gets a million views. I just got major deja vu. Ew, that was double deja vu. Cause in my deja vu, I said I got deja vu in my deja vu. <gasps> what does this mean? I got this palette so long ago and it still smells so good. <laughs> that was gross. I pretty much do the exact same thing every single time I put makeup on, but it's still fun. During this quarantine, I should really branch out and like use some other colors. One of my favorite YouTubers, Sarah Bashka, and she was the one who inspired me to start doing YouTube again. So she just did a 30 minute long bleaching her own hair doing balayage. She used a volume 30 developer. And I think she didn't really section her hair at all. She just like put bleach on the bottom half of her hair kind of randomly. She didn't leave any brown, so it's gonna be like all yellow probably. And she didn't show us the results. I'm really mad about it. I'm still thinking about it. And it's been like a day. Gosh, I love eyeshadow. I really deepen my eyes, even though I have deep set eyes. Ew. It looks like I'm about to go purge. I should never do that face. Actually, I should. That'd be a great TikTok prank. Oh my God, my brain just thinks about TikToks all the time. 
Me and Andrew have been obsessed with Hulu lately because it has Love Island. If you guys don't know what Love Island is, you're in for a treat, okay? They basically just put a bunch of like super hot people in a villa. They just are supposed to like couple up. I could not even begin to express the amount of entertainment that me and Andrew have had from watching it. Listen to me really close right here. Do not watch Love Island Australia. It started as a UK show, so they moved to Australia too. On Hulu, they recommended to me Love Island Australia, so I was like, Andrew, we have to watch it. And I put it on. We watched like 17 episodes. Episodes. They're all an hour, so that's 17 hours. And there was only two couples out of like 16 people. No one else liked each other. These were the pickiest people I had ever witnessed in my entire life. No one ever liked anyone. It was Friend Island. And don't get me wrong, like I'm really picky too. And so is Andrew. I never like anyone. My taste is so specific that I think I've only genuinely liked two people in my entire life, maybe. But mostly just Andrew. Okay, so I love that for me. It really makes dating so fun because you find no one attractive. Like, yeah, if I went on a show and I had six guys to choose from, I would probably find zero of them attractive. So that was just annoying. So we decided to skip to the very end and see who won and it was our least favorite couple. It was the worst couple. And they broke up on the plane ride home because that guy had a girlfriend at home the entire time. I knew he was trash. My trash radars were like blaring. I was like, I hate this man. So yeah, we wasted 17 hours of our lives on that. But then I somehow got Andrew to watch Love Island UK with me and I Googled the best season. We watched season two and let's just say this is Love Island. There's love, there's drama, there's scandal. Great show to watch during quarantine because we can't go outside or do anything. So we can live vicariously through them. Oh my God, I've been recording for 20 minutes and I've only done my eyeshadow and eyebrows. I'm the CEO of getting distracted. I keep seeing my dimple. Guess what? What? Six nines getting out of prison. Okay. Because of coronavirus. Thank you for telling me. Social media better be lit. <laughs> no. Thank you for reminding me to block him. Thank you. Yeah, can you give me a haircut soon? If I can make a YouTube video out of it, I'll do it. Alright, I don't care. Alright. So yeah, eyeliner done. Every time I put on mascara, I get it on my eyelid. <laughs> Dude, I just want to watch Drake and Josh. Whoa. Why is this gray? What? I've gone through like probably 10 of these. It's never turned that color. Okay, let me show you guys a little life hack. For your lips, I always take a really cool tone like shadow shade and I put it right under my lips and now I have a bigger shadow there and it makes my lips look bigger instantly. And then now I'm just taking my lip liner. I'd put a little too much on. No, it looks good, I guess. I don't know. My mom just got home. She's talking baby to my dog. I got one here. Let's check out these packages. The name brand is insert name here. And they reached out to me and sent me these products. Here's what it looks like. And then there's this little like silk bag to put it in. This is really blonde. It's blonder than my hair. Let's see the other one. Really cute packaging. This one looks more my color. This color is like perfect. Andrew helped me pick this out. <laughs> oh yeah, it's cute. <laughs> Comes with two big bobby pins. I said to brush them out before and after each use. Mine's, I guess, a little more yellow. I thought my hair was pretty cool toned. Maybe it matches up here, yeah. Okay, we're just gonna go with it. I need to like hide my hair in this. This is heavy. I don't know how Ariana Grande does this. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with my own hair. My hair is an issue right now. I have way too much. That is gonna look crazy. <laughs> okay. Are you in a grande who? <laughs> and that's how you install it. Yeah, I mean, the only problem is I don't know where to put this. I'm just gonna hide it, pretend it's not there. I would definitely need to figure something out if I was gonna wear this out. I'm gonna change and then I'll show you guys the final results. Okay, I'm back and I want to lay my edges. So I'm gonna use aloe. I have no idea if that's gonna work. And I'm using a literal like eyebrow spoolie, but I've seen like a girl do it with aloe before. 
Oh, that's kind of cute. I think I have too many pieces out. Yeah. I think I need to brush these up. How did I do? I've never done this before. I feel so cute. This is so cute. I feel like it doesn't even look like me. This is so weird. I'll link you guys these ponies below. This is called Brit Honey. I guess the Brittany and Honey. It literally matches mine perfectly, as you can see. I love a successful transformation. Okay, I've posed enough. Here's what it looks like full body. So you guys can see how long it is. I literally just took like 500 selfies, give or take. Has me had. <laughs> I've had this in for like a couple hours now. I don't know how Ariana Grande wears this for like a whole concert. My head is like weighed down by this giant ponytail. And hers is even bigger probably. This was super fun to like switch up my look because I always just have the same hair all the time because when you have like curlier hair, you can't really heat style it too much without ruining it. So I can't really do much with my hair. I'll leave the brand below. And they also have this really cute like silk holder which is nice because i never know what to do with like wigs and stuff after i have them i hope that you guys take this time to like experiment with some new fun things do something crazy i don't know just have fun give yourself a makeover have a photo shoot there's not much else we can really do if we're being honest my neighbor's dog is literally crapping yeah i can see her if you guys made it this far comment ariana grande who and then i'll know you're a real one when you make your subscribers gas you up in the comment section. But I swear, I feel like if anyone did like Ariana Grande makeup, you could really make yourself look like her. Uh -huh. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you have a fabulous day and I will see you soon. Bye, tater tots.